life, believing evil and treachery is what has empowered them and cold bloodedness when it is what has held us back to absolutely going to the next level. So I wanted today to just speak about the human experience. Life is like a hundred yard dash where you're born explosively into the world and your body begins to grow and you begin to take on all this information and the trials and the tribulations and all the new things and then the viruses and the bacteria and the language and the culture and you're bombarded and you ah, race right to the end. And then boom, the next generation takes the baton. And it's all these explosive generations. Back at 300, back in Greece, right through the Alamo, all through the billions of experiences, all the legends, all the, all, the, all the men, all the women, all the people that fought and died, all the honorable, all the brave, all the wicked, all the evil, all the backstabbing. This one was strong, this one was brave, this one was bold, this one was lucky. There at the dark tower, child Roland came, and for a brief moment, the hills lit up with fire, and I could see them all, and I was with them. Dauntless, lifted the horn to his mouth and blew. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And when you figure that out, that you are all those people that came before you, and you are all those people that come after you, you're not going to worry about dying anymore yourself. You're going to worry about the consciousness you've got dying and the rituals that have been carried out by our ancestors not being carried out into the future because then those rituals are needed in all the psychology, in all the anthropology, in all the sociology, in all of it. You need those to then activate all of the DNA strands, the 96% they said was junk that isn't, that literally then resonates and activates the data packets, the compressed data information we need to go into the future. And believe me, we need all of those struggles and all of that information to go into the future. The globalists are trying to block us off from that information because that is the answer. So there, my friends, really is the nature of reality is that Think about how we're alive for this short moment interfacing with all this art, literature, and culture that our species has created. How can you not love humanity and want to embrace humanity for your brief moment of consciousness before you are re-uploaded into the next wave? And then there's a spiritual living forever as well that is certainly real and is the next level. God gives us life and creation on so many levels. That's what I've become to understand. We live on through our children, the surest way of living forever. We live on through the DNA. We live on through the art, through the literature, through the ideas. And the great human attribute, the true sign of being human, is not just forming our own environment, not just taking control of our own development. That is the foundation. But the great spark, the Promethean fire, is the desire to transmit loving knowledge on to the next generation and to build up the young of the future because they are us. We are them. They will become the elders and fall like dust into the ground. This is the great truth. This is why you uphold your family name. This is why you try to be an honorable good person. This is why you have a conscience. Is this good for humanity? And the globalists come with a counterfeit and say, yes, we are the collectivist because we are collectivists. And they come and they say, we're going to create a collectivism to help humanity when they're actually centralized parasites that hate humanity that are using a collectivism to shudder and block and gouge out the eyes and the, and the ears and the nose and the soul of humanity. And the sixth sense show that we cannot be individuals. We are individuals who are part of a collective and are meant to operate through free association and free will to take the greatest attributes of hum humanity through free association, to vote in free association, to uphold the greatest of our people, to then make that the model for others as a stairway to build even greater systems into the future. This is the human experience. This is the great goal. This is what can free us.
not Hollywood, not fame, not fake fortune, none of it. But building a true world, building a better world, building a free world based on due process, based on honor, based on our fathers and our mothers that came before us. We're going to come back and we're going to go to your phone calls. What do you think is coming in the future? What do you think the greatest crimes of the New World Order are? And what are you doing to fight against them straight ahead? My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. CamTeamShop.com provides the best and hard-tested gear for survival, prepping, bushcraft, and everything outdoors. And we're the only place you'll find stainless steel canteen kits, unique gear from the Paracord Guy, and zombie tinder fire starters all at one easy-to-use website. Check out the Preppers Pack and see our custom knives, tarps, EDCs, and more. It's the best gear available with unbeatable customer service. 216-410-5096 or visit CamTeamShop.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. There's a lot of breaking Benghazi news up on Infowars.com. Fox News reports former CIA official accused of misleading lawmakers on Benghazi. We know they lied. They got caught lying. There's another headline. Lawmakers, CIA number two, lied to us about Benghazi. 
Iran and Britain officially resume diplomatic relations. That's just some of the news that we're going to be detailing uh, more coming up. But let's go to your phone calls. Again, I'm asking the question, what are the greatest crimes of the globalist? A, and B, what are you doing to fight them? And then C, where do you really see the world going? Because the future destiny is being shaped to a great extent right now. It's just epic times is what I'm trying to get at here. Absolutely epic times we live in. And I hope that's not lost on people for the forest. Because there's so much stuff going on. But when you look at it in a larger context, it's just amazing. There's a lot of good things happening as well. Billy in Michigan, then Michael, D.C., Tom, Rusty, and uh, others. Go ahead. You're on the air, Bill. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Uh, yeah, greatest crime would probably be the um, hijacking of the, you know, the banking system and how it's been done since uh, way back, how they funded both sides of wars and, and all that stuff. Um, where do I see humanity going? I'm actually uh, quite optimistic. I think uh, life is cyclical. It has its ups and downs. It's reaching a point where it's just going to probably just uh, reset and go back. And um, what am I doing? I'm uh, just resisting. I'm not complying. I'm uh, definitely not advocating any type of, um, uh, you know, armed resistance or revolution at this point. I think that's exactly what they want. Um, I would I would encourage people. I see, in, especially your listeners in the comments sessions sections, a lot of tough guys. You know, is we got to do this, we got to do that. And no, what you got to do first is is not let them have your mind, your body, you know, your soul. Um, once you get all that good, and all of humanity does that, you don't need an armed revolution. That's right. If we just withdraw our consent from the system, it will fold. Great points. Uh, I mean, here's an example. They can't give in to us on removing fluoride from the water, even though the government now admits it's poison. They can't give in to us on repealing Obamacare, even though it's an admitted fraud. They can't give in to us on anything like the Second Amendment, even though it's admitted it lowers crime, because then their whole house of cards falls. You pull one or two cards out of here, it goes down. They put on this whole act of invincibility, infallibility, all this power, because what they're doing is very unnatural. The globalists admit many of their own white papers. Their problem is there's so much wealth worldwide and, 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 and the manufacturing and the industry. We should be working two days a week and living like kings. But they want artificial scarcity, and that's what Agenda 21 is. And you ever get the message out to the mainline working class that the left wants to make them poor to control them and then show them where they set it, and that the Republicans want corporations totally above the law to do whatever they want? And you ever bring people together around a populist system of, of, of real transparency and, and, and real level playing field? It's over for the establishment. And that's what I want to do is just unify people around common sense. Michael in North Carolina, thanks for calling in. You're on the air. Hey, Alex, thanks for taking my call. Uh, appreciate you mentioning the fluoride issue because I think that's probably one of the greatest crimes of the New World Order, and I'll tell you why. Uh, as you know, drinking fluoride lowers the intelligent quotient of everyone who drinks it. That's and according to uh, Harvard and the federal government and Time Magazine this week. Again, Time Magazine actually last Friday admits fluoride has brain damaged the country. But again, why do you think that came out? Because you can't hide it anymore. Go ahead. And I don't think people really grasp how significant that is because when the population's IQ has been dropped by even five or ten points, how many uh, inventions does that represent? That the literal value of the country goes down. Right, exactly. And then the other issue is, you know, you're talking about consciousness and our human experience. Well, you know, water is so important to that because on a molecular level, we're like 70 to 90 percent water. I know, Mandre. And now they put it in kids' ice cream. I it's mean, the, the, the fluoride. Right. And so, um, you know, there's so many different crimes and I just picked one and that's fluoride. 
and, and the anti-fluoride thing, and you would just, I mean, you of all people would not be amazed at how much criticism one gets for picking a